Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Kat and today we'll be unboxing the Face the Future May Travel Edit, which I'm very, very excited about. So this box came out, oh, I want to say maybe a week ago, week and a half ago, something like that. Um, yeah, so Face the Future, I hadn't heard much about until maybe just before Christmas. Um, and I've seen a couple of people posting um, that they did like three edits like an anti-blemish one, anti-aging one, those kind of things. And the products, and they were really, really good, but they were brands that I'd never really heard of. Um, and through watching those videos, I realized that actually they're really expensive brands, really quality products though. Um, and so I started looking more and more. Um, and since then they've released a number of edits and all of them I think are fantastic value for money. This edit um, is currently on the website for 59 99 um, but the value of it is like £402, so it's really, really good quality. Um, the difference, say, to this one, to some of the previous ones, is because it's all about travel, they are miniatures, but it, you just get loads of products, basically, and they're really kind of premium brands, um, which I would never be able to afford um, to buy full size. So it's a good way of, like, trying um, these these brands, um, but also maybe something you've not heard of um, that might work for you. So let's get started. Um, like I said, it's still available on the website at the moment. I don't know how long for. I know that the last edits have all sold out. Um, and you might even be able to get like discounts and stuff like that. Um, if you're like a first time buyer, I'll, I'll check it out. And if I find any links or anything, I'll, I'll pop them on the, website, uh, on, the, on the bottom in the description. So it's really noisy. Hang on. There we go. So it has a uh, just a normal cardboard... Uh, sleeve on the front um it says the may travel edit whether you're on vacay or stay k take uh your beauty essentials with you um with our may travel edit filled with luxury luxury i can't talk today it's the weekend uh filled with luxury skincare hair care body care and even makeup deluxe minis jet set and glow on the go oh too much alliteration um and then it's just got a little instagram about tagging and all that kind of jazz so yeah nice nice and then it comes in standard kind of white box so i just lift it up here we go here we go and then a little sneaky peek there we go so not all the products fit inside um the little bag that comes with it which again really cute little bag uh so we get a little booklet thank goodness because i never know exactly what everything is it says enjoy your travels love f uh face the future ftf I can't read handwriting sometimes. Um, so anybody who's like new to Face the Future, they're like a really, really cool little company, um, really nice little team. Um, I think they've just kind of done a whole uh new skincare um up and coming where they've they've you know they go into each of the brands, what they stand for, what they do, what the products are like, that sort of thing. And so it's a really, really good way um of knowing new brands as they come in. And they're not always like the biggest brands that you see they're they like the smaller companies but up and coming so I, I really like them as a company and they always um like they do things like the mystery products where in your order I think I did it this time um I haven't got it with me unfortunately but uh basically you um pay like 15 pounds 14.99 um and they'll send you a mystery product worth like 80 up to 80 pounds again it, there might not be something you want, but it is really good value, so you can always pass it on to somebody, give it as a gift, that sort of thing. Um, so, let's start. So, I know I say so a lot, you get really annoyed with it. In the box, we have one, two, three, four, five items around the side, and then the rest are in this cute little pouch. Uh, what I will do is I will use this little card and we'll go item by item so I don't miss anything. Uh, so, yeah, the first thing is actually inside... Uh, by the way, this little bag is a Dermalogica bag. It's travel size. I don't know if it's like plain friendly or something, whether you could... It looks it. It looks about the right size. So you may be able just to use this um, if you've got like carry-on luggage um, to put all your liquids and stuff inside if you go to the airport. Ooh, nice. I was looking for one of these as well because recently I was sticking them in the plastic bags that you get at the airport and they always break or... Well, they do when I do. I try and stick too much in them. Um, so yeah, the first item then we've got uh, is Use Daily. Bioderma, Sensibio, yeah, Sensibio, Sensibio, uh, Micellar Water, 100ml. Gently but effectively cleanse even the most sensitive of skin and you can use it day and night. So yeah, that is there. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Nice. Uh, what, okay, it's tiny writing uh, and it is on the back of something transparent, but we will give it 
a wee go if I can. Cleanses, removes makeup and soothes sensitive skin. Very good uh, cutaneous and ocular tolerance. Assuming around your eyes, all that kind of jazz. Um, soak cotton pad, cleanse, remove face and eye makeup. Non-rinse. Uh, oh, non-rinse. Okay, that's the end. I apologise. My eyesight is not the best um, and I am not very good at punctuation. So yeah, I hope they get a good idea, little idea. I've seen a couple of YouTubers really rave about this um, micellar water. Um, but equally, I've heard that you shouldn't necessarily just use this um, uh, for cleansing. I think I've got in the uh, Caroline Heron's book, um, she says it in there. So I'm kind of mixed, but I do think that if you want to take off like, you know, makeup or, or eye makeup, these micellar walk is really, really, really good. Um, so I try and do that before I go in with my first cleanse. But again, if you want the option, take on holiday. Very cool little bottle to take with you. Next, we have... Let me find it. Let me find it. That one? Yeah. And next we have the Hydropeptide Travel Cleansing Gel, 50 mils. Wash away makeup uh, and impurities and tone your skin in one. And again, you can use this one day and night. So let's pop it there. Oh, reflective. Doesn't do well. I'll read it. It's fine. Uh, so this one, like I said, is the Hydropeptide Cleansing Gel, Cleanse Tone, Makeup Remover, uh, anti-wrinkle and sensitive nice directions with damp hands apply a small amount to dry skin gently massage using circular motions cleanse thoroughly rinse and pat dry so yeah this is like an all-in-one kind of cleansing gel then so cleanse tone and remove your makeup if it's kind of hanging on after the micellar water so if you don't have access to like to a sink or something like that maybe you're camping um got very posh cosmetics if you're camping um this will be able to to do all those things for you uh, Hydropeptide, again, it's one of those brands that I've not heard of until I started perusing the Face the Future website. So great reviews, um, lovely range, um, and it would be nice to try something. I, I do wait for the edits to see what, what they'll put in, so I'm glad that I get to try one of their, their products. Nice. So then the next one is an incredibly pricey brand, which I never will pay full price for, I don't believe. Um, I don't think I could justify it to myself. Um, but let me dig it out. This one is the Augustus Bader The Serum, uh, seven mils. Protect your skin from free radicals whilst getting a dose of deep hydration. Use day and night. So I've not actually seen this product. Um, I've seen the rich cream, I've seen the normal cream, I've seen the light cream, um, and then there's a cleansing gel, lip balm, eye cream, all those kind of things, but I've never heard of this one, the serum. Uh, let's just have a look at what it does. Oh, teeny writing is not my friend. Inspired by over 30 years of scientific innovation, the serum, um, an intensely hydrating, fast absorbing concentrate, formulated um, to zero in uh, on skin's most persistent challenges from dehydration to visible signs of aging to environmental damage and resolve frequent complexion concerns for optimal um, health and radiance powered by TFGA which is like their key ingredient like the the secret ingredient um our propriety blend if i'm saying any of this wrong by the way i apologize uh if i'll show you how small it is in a minute our propriety blend of amino acids um other things vitamins and something else yeah i can't really read it i'm so sorry it's like a gray gold black i could probably read it off there to be honest because the light is a bit better in your direction it's a bit dark back here um but yeah little little tiny sample i love their packaging even like their 15 mil um creams just feel so luxurious and they do feel like there's more in them normally um so this one is this kind of packaging beautiful uh nice embossed oh sorry i probably didn't wait that one up there there you go yeah it's a tiny little seven mils uh the little pump on the top yeah nice um I will use this very sparingly, um, but there is no description on that. I assume just use it as normal after you've uh, cleansed, toned, and then before your moisturiser. But I will try this and I will let you know my thoughts, whether I think it's worth it, because I'm pretty sure even this tiny sample is probably worth like 
50 quid or something probably even more um yeah amazing amazing again another brand i would never try unless it was in an edit um great three products down and going strong the next one also an incredibly expensive brand um dr levy eye booster seven mils so same size as the last one so this is the intense stem cell eye booster concentrate what's going on focus I think it's my fingernails. There we go. Perfect. So this one, visibly reduced lines and wrinkles around your eye area. Made in Switzerland. Um, so this doesn't have, it's, it's quite small, so it doesn't actually have like any kind of description on it. But again, part of, it's a serum. So is it a serum? Let's check. It just says eye booster. So I assume you use it just as your eye cream. Um, yeah nice giving out i've heard again in uh people that i watch rave about this brand um i think they're like their normal like face booster is like 200 and something ridiculous ridiculous sums of money um i can never envisage a world where i would just go out and spend that sort of money on an eye cream or or a face cream or anything like that so yeah if I really like it, it's kind of tough. Um, I'm just going to have to buy things with it in that's affordable. Uh, but I will use it very sparingly and see how it goes and see if it makes a difference. Um, it's the fun of trying things that you can never afford. Um, so that's the next one. So four items in. Next item. Um, Avant Skincare Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. There we are. Standard Avant Packaging. Put that in there. Oh, focus. There we go. 30 mils. Nice. Uh, so this one, create the ideal canvas for the application of makeup with this silky primer. Um, Avant products, I must admit, I, I've only got a couple, but I've, I know how expensive these are um, for what they are. Um, and yeah it's always nice to get one in an edit um because i again like everything else i couldn't afford to if i liked it to replace them um but i would give it i'm not a massive primer gal uh, i think i mentioned in previous videos after i've put on the various layers of serums and moisturizers and uh anything else boosters that you put on the skin tends to feel quite like tacky like it's going to pill any minute so with primers um unless i've got loads of time to let my skin dry after the moisturizer i might avoid it um or uh, moisturizer sun sunscreen uh yeah after spf um it, it's like usually the spf is enough and then i can put my makeup on top of that um but sometimes i guess if it's not enough and you want to use a primer because it's like quite a large pore day or um you're just not feeling like the best skin then a primer can go down really really nicely so i will add it in um it's 30 ml so it probably lasts me quite a while um but i think it's one of those ones that if i don't use it in a set period i might just pass it on um just because i don't want to waste it um and yeah again i don't use it enough to maybe make the benefit of it so we'll see we'll see if i get around to it I might become like a primer girl. I might get so many primers. I'm like, do you know what? I'm converted. We'll, we'll see. Uh, so then next up, I'm actually really happy about this one. So this one is a makeup item, um, but it, and it is a mascara, but it is a brown mascara, not a black mascara. So I actually have this one already in a full size. So this is the Ico Black Magic Cocoa Edit Mascara in brown, two mils. Lengthen and volumize your lashes with this conditioning mascara. Uh, yeah, I won't undo it because, like I said, I've got it upstairs. It's like a curved wand. Um, and, yeah, I just really like it. I'm wearing it at the moment, I believe. Probably can't see my eyes because of the glasses. Um, it, I find with black mascara sometimes, because I've got quite little eyes um, and because um, I don't wear makeup day to day, it can look quite intense and it can look like, oh, my goodness, she's, she's wearing my makeup. Whereas this one, it, it gives me that little in a high enhanced look but without looking um like i've got loads and loads of makeup on my face um is that that no makeup makeup look um so i really like this um this color i i like this particular mascara so i'm really glad to have it in a travel size so it'll be handy uh, as and when we go away so yeah nice little addition there 
Next up, we've got the Innocence Hydrating Cream Hair Bath uh, and Hydrating Cream Conditioner. So both of them, I love it when an edit has a shampoo and a conditioner that you can try together. So I'll pop these like this, you can see. So it says hair bath and conditioner, so I assume this is the shampoo. Um, this one says deeply uh, yet gently cleanse and condition your hair and you can use it every wash. Uh, so what does it say on the back? Which one's first? This one, the hair bath. Uh, take a deep breath and become centered. Apply a small amount of hair bath into hands and emulsify into a light lather with fingertips. Massage into scalp and rinse thoroughly. Very nice. Does it say it does boost hydration for thick, coarse and damaged hair with raw sheer butter and avocado? Oh, an avocado, sage, mono and uh, tamanu oils. I have no idea what they are. Um, restore the cuticle with nourishing emollients that soften and smooth texture. Deeply hydrating, the silicon-free formula leaves hair bouncy and healthy. So it sounds good. Sounds really, really good. Again, Innocence, I've, I've never heard of that brand um, before. I know that... Um, Face the Future have a lot of this on their website. So it's nice to try them, really, really nice to try them. Um, with the moisturiser, uh, with the moisturiser, well, it is moisturising, I suppose, with the conditioner, uh, maximise moisture with this emollient rich conditioner for thick, coarse, and damaged hair. S uh, certified organic rice, quinoa, and flaxseed strengthen the hair follicle while shea butter and coconut nourish and hydrate to control frizz. Silicon free formula leaves hair naturally beautiful. Uh, so after cleansing, take a deep breath and appreciate clean hydrated hair. Apply one to two pumps in hands, emulsify and distribute from mid length to ends with fingertips or comb. Leave on 15 minutes, rinse thoroughly. Standard. Um, but yeah, sometimes uh, it, it's really hard to read when they're so small. Um, but it's nice to have things like this to take away with you. I must admit, when I go on holiday, I always hope that they have a uh, really nice posh shampoo and conditioner in the hotel, because I'll always take it. Um, but just in case they don't, I always do carry travel size. Um, I don't really have thick, coarse hair, to be fair, but I'll give it a... I don't, I don't think it makes too much difference. Obviously, if I try it and it makes it greasy, um, then I may have to give it to my husband but nice nice again i don't know the price or the value of these um but i will pop it up on the bottom because it might be that they are really expensive in which case we'll use for best we're not pass them on to the husband cool so we're down first half and we've now got this half to go so like i say there's loads of products in here it's quite exciting only halfway through so next one is one of my uh, another of my favorite brands uh allies of skin firming daily treatment 12 mil where are you uh, you're outside of the box. Okay, so it's this one here, I believe. You can see that. So it says, uh, hydrate, firm, refine, and brighten your skin, and you can use this AM and PM. So this is uh, peptides and antioxidants daily, uh, firming daily treatment. Um, the ultimate daily treatment that firms and protects tired skin against pollution and damage with seven brighteners, eight antioxidants, seven peptides, and Tepranone, if you know what that is. Um, yeah, it's standard moisturiser. Um, this one, think of it, this daily treatment as your ultimate supercharged moisturiser that works all day to revive firm, even, uh, to revive and firm even the most stressed out skin. This peptide rich formula is designed to form a shield against all forms of environmental and digital pollution as it reduces appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, it's got a uh, tep known again uh, vitamin c and multiple brighteners promote radiance and help to diminish the signs of premature aging now i do know about this product that it is award-winning whose award i have no idea but i have the full size of this one because they released it in one of their previous edits and the full size one of this is like 121 pounds so i can imagine that this one is quite expensive as well uh, they do actually allies um, of skin have an offer on their website i don't it probably won't be live um because i think it's ending in a day so it'll take me a while to edit this video but they 
did have um uh, an offer on their website where it's buy one get one free so and then you can get additional product that's worth 105 pounds so they've got great offers on the websites at the moment i don't know how often they have them so i am fairly new to allies of skin um but i am so excited to try the products i've just bought a load of things so i will be doing like a full face um a full face and makeup but like a full face of skincare so i'll be able to like do a review myself of all their products and they do a retinol which apparently does not cause irritation so i'm mean, a retinol should i say retinol um so i'm very very intrigued to try this brand um and i love the fact that that face the future put them in their reddits um because they do know how pricey they are so uh yeah if there, any of that sounds of interest um check them out very very cool next one another really expensive brand that they have on face the future website and a couple of other ones i think like sephora do them that sort of thing but this one is the skin cuticles advanced brightening uv defense 15 mils this one here so uh there we go is the box nice um so this one is oh yeah it's an spf 50 it's a high protection reduces visible discoloration uh what does it say protect your skin against uv damage whilst correcting the appearance of discoloration what does it say on the tiny tiny packet um directions apply the sunscreen product just before exposure reapply frequently and generously to maintain protection especially after swimming perspiring or toweling so yeah standard um sunscreen um i have no clue how much this one is but i do know that with the skin cuticles they do amazing serums very very pricey i think one of the um serums the it's like a vitamin c kind of serum is 165 pounds for 30 mils it's way out of my price range um but if it works for you and you are willing to pay that sort of price then obviously it's it's nice to be able to try these things in advance uh with this one 15 mils um i will give it a go it probably lasts me you know like a couple of weeks um i always find with sunscreens though that um i find them to they well the ones i've tried so far I tend to pill depending on the moisturizer you use so i think that if i can find the right combination of moisturizer to go with each of my sunscreens then i should have a nice experience of it but a nice 50 ml for the summer coming up brilliant little thing to take away um so you haven't got a massive sort of sunscreen if you're a family then obviously you will have massive sunscreens to take away but if you know you're going on a little break you and your partner then it's or just you uh it's a nice thing to like just pop in pop in your luggage take away with you keep yourself uh, protected when you're away because i'm terrible we always go away i forget about sunscreen and then end up having to buy massive bottles to bring home of which we have about 20 in the bathroom so yeah nice another one so then next we've got Eucerin Actinic Control SPF 100, uh, 80 mils. This is like a full size. I think it might be one of the only full sizes. Um, this SPF helps to prevent actinic keratosis while giving very high UV protection. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what actinic keratosis is. I will look it up. I might have some information on the box. This one you obviously use in the morning. So I'm going to put that there. This is very high, as it says. Um, and it's a fluid. I have actually started using some of the um, serums, like, oh, serums, uh, UV serums. And they're like, there's a one that, I, oh, I can't remember the names, terrible at names. Um, it's basically, it's almost like water, like liquid. And it goes on, but it, it doesn't pill. Like, I'm, I'm so impressed with it. It doesn't pill at all. Hopefully it offers the same amount of protection as a cream does. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. What does this one actually say? Uh, medical device specifically developed to help prevent actinic keratosis. It doesn't actually say, oh, a non-melanoma skin cancer. So I... Um, and like I don't go out in the sun you might be able to tell from my complexion I am incredibly pale um, I avoid the sun at all costs um, yes I know you should wear SPF every single day um, I didn't used to do it in winter um, until I found, like obviously found out that you should be wearing it all the time um, but even before then like I'm terrified to go out in the sun a lot of the time just because I'm uh, I think you know, skin cancer is very, very real. I'm very, very pale, so I'm very aware that I just burn. And I never really tan anyway. I just go red, I peel, and then I'm back to this again. So uh, I've learned to embrace it. Um, but yeah, this one, um, you're zoning pink skin, apply every morning. 
etc etc so again just a um, normal kind of sunscreen i will find out what actinic control is because um i've never heard of it but the fact that you can try these kind of products um yeah again I'm, I'm happy to give it a go um and see what it's all about and a, a spf 100 like there's no go wrong with that really is there there's nothing getting in um yeah nice and full size that one is well, it's 100 mil 80 mil so it's still fit on the flight on the flight yeah uh the next one is a teeny teeny tiny, tiny sample this one is the Revitalash Eyebrow Gel in Clear 3 mils. Boost your brow hairs with this conditioning brow gel. Oh, can I get into it? Can I get into it? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, posh. Um, so this is, you get a little card, tells you all how to use it, I suppose, uh, in different languages. Uh, this breakthrough unisex brow setting gel tames unruly brows with a conditioning flexible long wear formula to shape, sculpt and define eyebrows. Uh, dermatologist reviewed, clinically tested, hypoallergenic, non-irritating. Directions, use short upward strokes, apply gel to eyebrows, moving from the inner to the outer contours to enhance, sculpt and define their appearance. I don't think there's much more you can say about brow gel, really. Um, I won't open it because I do have a brow gel upstairs open, but I will find a little picture of it if I can. So, oh, teeny tiny. There we go. High def brow gel. Um, I've got quite thick eyebrows. I've always had quite thick eyebrows. I did actually, I think when I was like at university, get them like not threaded back then. It was, it was, it was waxed. Um, and since then I've not touched them. Um, I might pl pluck the occasional ones underneath. But I was terrified of having like lines or, you know, just not having brows. My mother filled me with fear about it. So I've not really done much with them since. However, now that the kind of thing is to put them in place, I've really noticed that my brow hairs go everywhere. So I'm actually kind of enjoying uh, <laughs> brow gels, uh, which is so weird because it's not something I'd ever thought that I would actually do. Um, so, yeah, I am intrigued by this. I know Revitalash do a really expensive um eyelash serum i think it's like 97 pounds for uh is it three months worth something like that um so i'll be intrigued to see what this one does um because it's a gel i assume it just sticks them in place it doesn't necessarily that it conditions them or anything like that oh it is no conditioning i tell a lie ignore everything i just said um yeah no this conditioning brow gel so yeah nice another addition another tiny sample for you to take on holiday with you um or just use if if you need one cool some really premium brands in this edit i'm very excited um next we've got uh one two three four things still let's go um first up we've got uh gatineau 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 it's one of those ones i never know how to pronounce uh gradual tan 75 mils get gorgeously glowing sun kissed skin so there we go. Uh, I do not self tan at all. I am terrified. I people would know. People would just know that I I tried to self tan. I would go from being pasty white, which they've always seen me as pasty white, to suddenly more orange. And yeah, I think I've always just been very apprehensive about people going, "Is it fake?" And you're like, "Yeah, I've tried to look this color." Um, and obviously patchy, all that kind of, I'd never necessarily do it right. So I've never really tried to self tan. But now I'm kind of gotten into more cosmetics. I, I kind of see the appeal. Really intrigued to try the tan, uh, tan, uh, tan Glow Lux. It's like those drops that you put in your moisturiser and it just gives you a little glow. That appeals to me massively. But the other stuff, I'm, I'm just terrified of Oompa Loompa. Um, yeah, I think back in school we used to use the word you've been tangoed, which has just sat with me ever since. I'm like, no, I'm never gonna try it, never gonna try it. Um we could we could give it a go. Um, maybe just on certain body parts. Maybe not my f no, I can't really do it on your arms or not your face, can you? Um yeah, so this one, uh it's got always oh, got a description of, of the brand where it came from. Uh this one builds a luminous and natural looking sun-kissed glow. Now, as long as it promised me it's natural looking, massage with circular motion onto clean and dry skin, paying attention to the dry areas such as elbows and knees. Uh, Allow to dry before putting clothes on. Thoroughly wash hands after use. I just terrified, man. Um, yeah, I mean, if anyone else has any advice for someone who's like a first time 
gradual tanner, um, moisturiser tanner, please let me know. I think I got one done once for a wedding because I was terrified because everyone else was tanned and I didn't want to be like pasty. And it looked all right, but somebody else did it. It wasn't me. Um, but I, I, let's just try it. What the hell? Summer's coming up. I can pretend I've been on holiday. I can pretend that it was the sun that did a bad job and not me. Um, yeah, I get excited. I would never buy this. Never. But because I've got it now, I'm like, do I? Do I? Yeah, why not? Next time you see me, I'll be doing the Donald Trump look. Right. Again, use AM or PM. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it for a week. See how we get on. Um, next up, we've got hair stuff. Now, this one I'm all about. Uh, this one you use weekly. Um, so you probably take it away with you and you probably get one use out of it, which is good because that's what you need. Uh, Grow Gorgeous Repair Strengthening Hair and Scalp Mask 30 mils. Deeply Hydrate Damaged Brittle Locks. There we go. Ooh, no, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to. <laughs> there we go. Nice little cute bottle. Now the Grow Gorgeous one, I have used their products. I've used their hair oil hair oil serum growth serum um yeah put it on at night time works brilliantly doesn't make my hair greasy um i haven't probably used it long enough to be able to tell you whether or not it works but um it's an ongoing kind of discovery but at the moment i'm enjoying using it like i said it doesn't make my hair really overly greasy i put it onto my clean hair at night yes obviously it makes your hair wet before you go to bed but then by the morning i wash my hair no no biggie it doesn't rub off on my on my pillow or anything like that so quite happy with it um and i have heard a lot of people raving about it so i'd be very intrigued to try more in their range um so yeah nice one i might not save it for holiday i might just use it um and put it in there with like what likes of my philip kingsley elasticizer great little product to try okay we're nearly there we're nearly there we've got two more now the next one is <laughs> this might help me with the fake tan. Uh, this is the Exfoliating Body Mitt. Um, no, the name. <laughs> Amelior Ameliorate. 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 Something like that. There we go. So this one is Buff and Polish Your Skin to Perfection. Uh, skincare, uh, specialist skincare for bumpy skin, very dry skin, rough skin, or ingrown hairs. Um, an intensive smoothing exfoliator with unique fabric weave. Um, yeah, I don't use necessarily these mitts. Um, I use an exfoliating body wash normally, uh, which tends to do the trick. But <laughs> if it's going to help me <laughs> with the other one, then I will use this in tandem and i know this is a very good brand i know they do some amazing body products i think i've got one of their body lotions upstairs i've just started lovely lovely formula uh feels really nice on the skin um yeah i i love a body cream that like you you know you've got it on but it doesn't feel heavy you don't feel sticky you don't feel tacky it just dries and then your your skin just feels very very nourished and very soft um those are the kind that i like but i know coming up to the summer um, body creams become a little bit difficult to just everything gets sweaty and sticky and yeah so you just little little and often the lighter ones are the better so that's the body mitt and the very last thing in here is another eucerin product this is a face mask um this is the eucerin hyaluron filler sheet mask deeply hydrate your skin and reduce the appearance of fine lines and you can use this in the day or night so that's the mask there so, yep, standard face mask, full face mask. Um, uh, this one's an anti-age. Um, immediate effect, reduces fine lines and skin feels intensely hydrated for fresher, more radiant and rejuvenated looking skin. Now, I love a face mask, so I would definitely... I need to actually take them on holiday with me. Yeah, we went away for like a week in Norfolk and I took two with me. Because I was like, if there's, no, if there's not time on a holiday to relax and have a bit of a, a pamper and a spoil in the evening, then when, when am I going to get time? Um, so this is a really nice one to take away and try. And obviously keeping them in the fridge um, gives that little extra boost. So the innovation, high molecular hyaluronic acid acts as the origin of fine wrinkles in the upper epidermal skin layers compared there to... 40 times smaller low molecular hyaluronic acid penetrates further into the epidermal skin layers. Biocellulose is a natural material made of ultra fine cellulose fibers. The mask is easy to adjust and allows you to move around freely without any unpleasant slipping or dripping. Uh, it perfectly conforms to facial contours, feeling like a second layer. 
second skin layer. Uh, the mask provides a cooling feeling on the skin during and even after application result makes the skin look less fatigued we all need that uh, and less stressed providing a dewy fresher and more radiant looking skin nice super excited so that is everything in here and i like i'm chuffed with it really really chuffed with it i love the edits um get products that you know products that you don't know products that you wouldn't necessarily try but you've got them so you know you can give them a go or you can pass them on if you're really adamant you know i looked at this one and i immediately was like yeah that tan is uh, not not for me but why not i'll give it a this it's a small sample you know it's it's probably gonna like maybe a week's worth or something like that maybe not i've got a lot of body so maybe like a couple of weeks but we'll see we'll see if it does it if it's awful then it'll wash off in a couple of days i work from home a lot so just take a week working from home while my um tan resolves itself um yeah and that's it that's everything in the box um i hope it's still available when i put it online but if it's not um do look on the website sign up they also do like um like what is it called like a loyalty scheme get there in the end uh they do a loyalty scheme um whereby if you spend over a certain amount you get like you know gifts like birthday gifts birthday treats um they'll give you like you know 10 pounds to spend five pounds spend every now and again they're just a really kind of nice company or it comes across as a really nice company um and very you know loyal to their customers so yeah hopefully that's giving you an, an insight so it's always worth signing up and getting their edits when they come available um and they did because i did write to them saying are you thinking about doing an advent calendar at all um i know it's very very early um and they're not unfortunately but they did say um that they've got some amazing edits coming around that time because obviously got black friday and everything else so i will be uh waiting with bated breath um and so yeah check them out and see what they've got to offer thank you as always for watching if you've made it this far i ramble i waffle a lot um some of it is useful i'm hoping i'm hoping maybe not um but if you've enjoyed please feel free to like and subscribe and yeah i will catch you on the next one have a great week thanks bye